and standing up against hate. A local Muslim community leading, learns what it what to do rather if an active shooter targets their mosque. This is in response to a recent spike in threats. WJZ is live in Baltimore County. Amy Yancey has more on the dozens of people who came out to that special training today. Amy. Well, Marcus, they had a pretty big turnout during this training. I spoke to quite a few people, many saying they are feel fearful. They could become the next targets. They tell me it's better to be safe than sorry. Hate leads to murder inside a Canadian mosque. An extremist shooter kills six innocent people during prayer service in January. Weeks later, a mosque in Silver Spring gets a threatening note reading, quote, I will pay $100 to charity for every Muslim slaughtered. A similar hateful message found at the nearby Muslim Community Center. The recent acts of hate sending trembles of fear throughout Muslim communities. Now I'm worried, you know, maybe hate crime can happen to my kids, to me. Fearing the worst case scenario, dozens gather for an active shooter training at this mosque in White Marsh. So you have to watch out for each other. So security is everybody's job. A Department of Homeland Security expert tells families what to do if an active shooter targets their place of worship. It's not always best to just fight. It's better to run. The training has two missions to help alleviate fears by Muslims and help eliminate fears of Muslims. They should feel part society and should not be uh, afraid to say that they're Muslims. The Council of American Islamic Relations tells WJZ compared to 2016, nearly twice the number of U.S. mosques have been targeted this year. The group hopes to prevent hate and violence. We have a choice in this kind of climate to feel afraid or to empower ourselves. This video does so, Marcus, as I said, 35 mosques in the U.S. have been targeted so far in 2017. By this time last year, only 19 mosques had any issues. Reporting live in White Marsh, Amy Yancey, back to you. All right, Amy, good information. And uh, CARE is asking American Muslims and Islamic institutions to take extra security precautions and is offering free copies of its booklet, Best Practices for Mosque and Community Safety.